go. Here he goes. Now, from the heart of the world, this is News 2 Today. Good Friday morning, everyone. It's finally the weekend and lots to do this weekend. It's also April Fool's Day. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be talking today. There's a lot of, you know, with all the events going on and a lot of changes. Uh, Howard Stern has taken over for Charlie Sheen. You said that. that. I'm like, you I, that? I, I don't buy that one. I don't know. You now sit on his show yesterday. We'll see. We'll get to um, Josh Marvin in about two minutes. Before. She ruined it too. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ruined it too. Look at this morning's top stories. All right, it is 542, 44 degrees out there, and I better come clean. But I see Octavia's over there searching the web. I don't want her to. <laughs> what day is this? April Fool's Day. Exactly. And uh, Howard Stern taking over for Charlie Sheen. You know what? Winning. <laughs> you, you know yeah. what? You just made Listen, that Listen, he pulled the joke. Yes, I did. He pulled the oh, joke yesterday oh, on his show. Oh. So I figured I'd just continue. You got me, Josh. Because I was like, what? but I just I didn't buy it. You were over here giggling that. like crazy, though. I was you? like, I don't buy that one. And I was like thinking about it. And I'm like, I need to Google that. Although, <laughs> although. Who is she annoying? Really, it would have been funny. She is some annoying broad. Good Friday morning, everyone. Today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, and I tried to play a joke on these guys earlier. They didn't buy it. I can't tell a fib. Not for a second. Yeah, but you, you got me earlier today. I did. Howard Stern taking over for Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. Who wouldn't buy that? I didn't really buy it. Meanwhile, how good an idea is that? I'd be terrific if I do say so myself. I'm not taking over. Thing is, people can't believe it because you're so needed here. Yeah, believe me, I got news for you. I ain't doing anything. I do the show and I do Howard TV. God bless, and that's that. Well, that's why I said there was a joke. Yeah, people know that. I told Robin I read a script that was pretty good, and they offered me this movie role, and I, uh, you know, I like doing that. Oh, you should have. No, I'm not gonna do it. I've been thinking about it. I you don't want to do a movie. Yeah, but I don't want to. Why? Because, you know what? I'm not an actor. I do enjoy the process of being in a movie, but... Well, you bring your personality. Most movie stars are that. I don't know that I could um, do this role either because um, it involves me like getting into some... Not, not pornographic, but like, like a heavy sort of make-out petting scenes with this chick who's a, obviously a hot chick. It's a movie, and, it, and she plays a hot chick. And I'm just wondering, it, I think Beth would freak the fuck out. Did you discuss she it with her at all? Yeah, I discussed it with her. She goes, all right. She, say? she goes, I know what I got to do. Oh. And that was that. I, mean, uh, I said, but honey, it's you're a movie. Acting. <laughs> you're yeah. acting. She knows yeah. me. I ain't no acting. There's no acting when yeah. you're kissing somebody. I, That's she a real knows kiss. me. When I kiss, <laughs> well, I got news for you. I don't know about, I mean, I don't know what, you know, in some of your movies, I don't know if you did anything romantic. Did you ever do a romantic scene in a movie? I, 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 I've kissed uh, on screen. Yeah, yeah, but those were girls. Did you ever kiss a dude in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll well, bet you really get excited? I bet you if, if I were given that, that opportunity, I'd do it, and Brad would probably understand. And yeah, he might understand, but you know you. You get a boner, you'll probably end up in the dressing room with this guy blowing you. No, out. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, bullshit. I would not do You that. know what? Sometimes things happen. I am an actor. Yeah. Well, you've I can never create been... the illusion. George, yeah. you've never actually had this happen to you. That's right. So how do you really know <laughs> well, how I know you is react? On private parts, I did uh, a couple of scenes with uh, Mary McCormick where there was no kissing involved yeah. in the script, no making out, no feeling up. I made out with her and felt her up anyway. Every in, time. Every time. And you can see the surprise on, screen. on, on her screen. face. On screen. Yeah, you can see the look. You're an acting. actor. You were I, acting. I was like, fuck that. I got a chance here to do something with a hot chick. Why not? <laughs> Why shouldn't I do it? Absolutely. And I popped a real boner when I was in the bathtub with that naked girl, uh, Melanie Good. Yeah. I popped an actual fucking boner. Of course you would. Yeah. So what am I going to tell you? I was all worked up. But so if he'd been kissing her but your soul and he was wasn't in his there. underwear. <laughs> well, my soul was there. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I'm an actor, but my penis is an actor. <laughs> your penis is a real actor. My penis is real for real. My penis don't know I'm an actor. No, I better left uh, not doing it. You want to know something, the truth? I love that woman so much that I could do the movie and not think twice about it. But I, I don't know. She, she would probably freak out because you know what? I got news for you. If she took on a role something where she's making out with some dude, it would bother the shit out of me. And you know, you're not just kissing them once. You're right. right. There's take after take yeah. and setups and reshoots. And, and that's why it's not sexy. Clear. You know, on tomorrow's with show. With about uh, 
30 people Bullshit. watching you? Tomorrow show, I'm bringing in this guy. He's 25 years old. Yeah. He's going to do a love scene with you. <laughs> He's going to have your shirt off. Out of bed. That's a script. I'm going to give you the script. You'll read it. And then it'll cause for you both to take off your shirts. He's very muscular, this guy I have in mind for the part. And you're going to rub each other's chests and make out. I will tell Brad tonight, right. and I will tell him I'm tell him. acting, and it will not be consummated. <laughs> yeah. I am going to be acting, and yeah. yes, all right, bring it on. And bring, bring him on. Kick off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's going to be a great movie. It's uh, George. It starts, with, <laughs> most starts out, George is in an internment camp, <laughs> but it's like Animal House. It's a fun internment camp, like Hogan's Heroes kind of thing. We'll be breaking out. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's World War II. Break out together. George is in Arizona. <laughs> the guards love him, and one of the guards falls in love with George. And, and it's hot there, so we take our shirts off. And that's right. It's sweaty. Yeah. And, yes. and, you, and, and then you, you have to wrestle. You know what we have to do? We have to put a meter on George to see <laughs> if he's acting or if this is real. Well, that's as right. Howard said, you know, I can be acting, but there's a certain anatomical yeah, things sure. that uh, don't know that. And Brad will tell you he's acting when he's on the phone to his attorney. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so anyway. So so can I bring? Can I bring? Uh, 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 I was going to say Artie, Brad here. Yes, and have him be witness to That's it. That's right. I want wow. him to watch. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, it's great. In this one scene, I want you to do. This is where you blow the guard <laughs> to get a weekend pass from the camp, <laughs> and you have to I'm really. Afraid, uh, he will <laughs> not allow that. <laughs> No, he won't. The guy won't come. It's just you know, just kiss him a few times. And then uh, the the guy goes, "Oh, you think you can blow me and get a secret pass? That's it for you." Then he ties you up naked and he sticks an eel in your ass. This is the Howard Stern show. That's right. Anyway, listen to this. Despite Sheen uh, entering to a standing ovation and sporadic chance of Detroit sucks, not all fans were pleased. Um, this is uh, in Chicago, so they you know. He comes out after this disastrous show in Chicago, Charlie Sheen, and then, uh, I mean, the disastrous show in Detroit, and then in Chicago, they're like, they're rooting for him, they're saying Detroit sucks, and then afterwards, a lot of people walked out, and this is a quote, as a show, it was worthless, said Drew Michael 25, nothing happened, there was no point, the whole time I was bored, hoping it would end, everyone should be ashamed for cheering. Uh, Joshua Claude Hill, 39, was more supportive. I think that he more than made up for the disaster that happened in Detroit. During the Chicago show, Sheen, apparently recognizing the looming fiasco of his 20-city tour, admitted he'd crawl back to CBS if the producers of Two and a Half Men would rehire him. Oh, he did. Mm. Yeah, so there you go. And in Chicago, he did have his uh, two lesbians uh, kiss, you know, Bree and the other Yeah, two. they did that in Detroit as well, but it still didn't hold the audience. That's right. Well, it's arrogant to think you could go up on a stage without an act and in front of 5,000 people and somehow entertain them by answering questions. It's just not going to happen. Now, you heard Chris Rock. It took him 10 years to get comfortable on stage doing stand-up, and he writes every single day of his life. Yeah, well, the first night he didn't answer questions. He was just sort of freeform, right. and that really didn't work. I mean, insane. Uh, that's just crazy. You can't do stuff like that. All right, look, we got to take a break, Robin. When we come back, we'll do the news. We'll get to Steve Langford. Oh, get to talk to Steve? We'll get to talk to Steve. What What's, a lucky break for us. What a build up for us. What can we talk about? I wonder. Uh, tomorrow, our good friend Jesse Ventura, the uh, oh. governor, will be here. And uh, a lot of people, Jason Ellis, will be stopping by later this week. Uh, coming soon, we have many big guests. I'm not going to tell you who they are oh, yet. You but, don't uh, want to mention them for what reason? Uh, the reason that as soon as I mention them, somehow they get unbooked. <laughs> <laughs> the publicist realizes they're coming here. What? Who did that? Yeah, well, that happens all the time. <laughs> Best to keep my mouth shut. All right, we'll be back right after these words. I just want to say before anything else, it's a great privilege to do this satellite program, and I'm going to do my, my best. Howard Stern. I want the people that work with me to do a good show. Uncensored radio. It's just pure you know, entertainment. The Howard Stern Show. Tonight on Howard 101, join Big Black and King of All Black as they disagree about everything. Black on Black! Oh yeah! Black on Black! Black on Black is back. It's the unemployed security guard. <laughs> 
and the garbage man, Big Black, King of All Blacks, Black on Black. Hey, good to hear from you, Big Black, and uh, King, thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys on your own show. Black on Black! Black on Black, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, on Howard 101. Guys, are you ready to turn up the heat in the bedroom? Well, before you get her off, Adam and Eve wants to help you get half off. Mm, that's right. Go to adamandeve.com and for a limited time, get 50% off just about any item. Put your hands all over her with massage oils or lube or take her pleasure to new heights with a wild new toy. On top of that, when you grab that one item at 50% off, you'll also get to pick three free adult DVDs for a little visual inspiration. Adam and Eve will even slide in a free extra gift so hot. Mm, they can't even mention it here. And the happy ending to it all? You get free shipping on your whole order. So before you get her off, get half off one item when you type hey now for the offer code at checkout. When you do, you'll get to pick three free DVDs, a free extra gift, and free shipping. Just use offer code hey now at adamandeve.com. Could this really be the end of America as we know it? Recently, one of the most widely read financial journalists in the country explained how a single event in the next 12 months will likely shake the very foundation of our nation. He says this big event has nothing to do with war or the stock market, yet it will change everything about your normal way of life. Could this really happen? This same man was among the first to predict the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties, a few years ago. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. And now, to get the word out on what he believes will be the most important event in our nation's past 50 years, this journalist has created an eye-opening video you can watch online for free. You may never think about America the same way again. You can find the video at www.endofamerica13.com. That's endofamerica13.com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica13.com. That's endofamerica13.com. I've got good news and bad news. Bad news first. Doesn't it feel like much of what happens in life is outside of your control? Well, it is. The good news? There's actually a lot of important things that are absolutely in your control. For example, you can protect your family with a will from LegalZoom for just $69. You can protect yourself from personal liability and save on taxes by starting a corporation or LLC with LegalZoom for as little as $99. It's true. The brightest minds in law and technology created LegalZoom's step-by-step -step process to help you organize your life conveniently and affordably. There's a reason why 94% of LegalZoom's customers would refer their services to family and friends. You can also get a trademark, living trust, name change, power of attorney, and more. LegalZoom is not a law firm and provides self-help services at your direction. Take control of your life right now. For more savings, enter 100 in the referral box at checkout. That's LegalZoom.com. LegalZoom.com. If you're the one out of every four online investors who have thrown in the towel and completely given up on the idea of making money in the stock market, this message is for you. Hi, this is Preston James. How would you like to know with 86% accuracy that a stock's price today is going to be substantially higher three to six months from now? Just imagine knowing you're going to be right 86% of the time. Well, get ready to write down the name of this website because I'm going to tell you how this is possible once you discover a little-known piece of news that practically forces a stock to go higher, even in today's market market. This piece of news is something I discovered in the middle of the last stock market wipeout. Not only will I tell you what this piece of news is, I'll show you how it's working right now, right in the middle of this so-called economic recovery. For a limited time, you can go to this website and I'll tell you all about this little known piece of news and how to use it in your trading. Just go to buriedtreasurexm.com. That's buriedtreasurexm.com. There's no credit card required and no rah-rah pitchathon to attend in some nearby hotel. That's buriedtreasurexm.com. Hey now, what's this? She's a power surge. Yes, you need that boost of energy. Now, I got up at 3 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And right about now, I could use a boost of energy to be honest with you. So if you're feeling tired and sluggish, get that extra boost without the caffeine. Talking about Cheetah Power Surge, caffeine-free energy drink. Cheetah Power Surge is a caffeine-free energy drink made with a unique blend of Chinese ginseng, ginkgo, biloba, and royal jelly. It gives you an all-natural burst of energy without the caffeine crash. Whether you're exhausted, unfocused, lethargic, whatever, 
just reach for Cheetah Power Surge to help keep you refreshed and revived. And right now, get two cans of Cheetah Power Surge for just three dollars at all Dwayne Reed stores in Manhattan. Students, athletes, professionals, car and truck drivers, Cheetah Power Surge is for you. 